In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather this morning at the table, we come knowing that even though it was the Jews so long ago who rejected Jesus, we ourselves do that when we sin. For these reasons, we ask God's mercy and his cleansing power upon us. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us all. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate dutifully the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the passion of the Christ, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son and come at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In, In my, my distress, distress, I called heard. upon the Lord, and he heard, heard my, my voice. voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. <clears throat> the Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from the, my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, we are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? 
If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So in our Gospel today, we see the rejection of Jesus. We see hardness of heart. We see unbelief, refusal to believe. And if this gospel disturbs us, <clears throat> perhaps it should, because it is not right what was happening. We might ask ourselves, how is that possible? And we don't know. We can't judge. But something wasn't right here. You could see there was a, different, there was a difference here between those who were trying to stone Jesus and those who were present in the Jordan who came to believe in him. There was a fundamental difference in the heart Something was different. Only God knows what it was. But certainly we could say there was an openness. There was definitely an openness there. We reflect upon ourselves today. We see the many obvious things the Lord has done for us. If we really reflect upon our lives, we feel so much good that he has done for us. All the blessings we received. And yet at times, do we not grow impatient, even with God? Do we not at times reject Jesus through our own sin? Do we not at times close ourselves off from him, perhaps going our own way or thinking we know best? Those are times for us to stop and rethink what we're doing. Ask ourselves, what are we doing? Have I neglected the Lord? Have I neglected my God? This Lent, as we in the final days of it are time for us to continue in our conversion process, remembering that God is everything to us, remembering how much he loves us and how much we love him, and how much we need to reject sin and remove that from our lives and fight courageously to overcome it and cooperate with God's grace to put it to an end. Because the bottom line is Jesus loves us. And he wants us to be with him forever in heaven. And he wants that relationship with us. It's up to us to respond, not with a closed heart, but with an open one. An open one. Ready to love and obey Jesus in everything. And so let us then come before the Lord, asking for his assistance with all of our needs and the needs of our brothers and sisters. <clears throat> for all members of the church throughout the world today, that the Lord may give us the grace of true repentance for all of our sins, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all government leaders and elected officials, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their work and give them wisdom to guide us safely through this coronavirus trial, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who are suffering at this time, particularly those who are sick in any way, for grace for them and healing to make it through this time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all members of our parish here at the cathedral, for uh, strength and peace, grace to progress in our relationship with Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for our own salvation, that of our family members and friends and all those in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And Today, we offer special prayers for Edward Fitzpatrick and Maruja Chavez, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are so good to us. You hear the prayers we answer aloud, as well as those in the silence of our heart. Still, you know best for what is good for us. And we ask you to answer these prayers according to your will, through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, and confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he, <clears throat> may he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. <clears throat> Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth 
In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now at the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. We should always be uh, troubled whenever we see Jesus being persecuted, whenever we see our faith being condemned, whenever we see our faith being shaken. In these difficult times, we are often called, uh, often uh, you know, susceptible to doing that, to having our faith shaken. Let us rely firmly on our faith in God, whose covenant always remains firm. Uh, 
This morning, I will be uh, posting the final schedule for Palm Sunday. Uh, this weekend, we will have the masses still being streamed. And uh, in addition to the Palm Sundays, I'm hoping soon to have the Holy Week schedule uh, posted also. You'll find that most easily on our website, uh, www.cathedralbasilica.org, or on the FaceTime page where you're looking, I will also amend a post, or on the YouTube channel, I'll try also to display the schedule there. I do know that uh, part of the Holy Week schedule will encompass the Triduum uh, for which the Cardinal will be the main celebrant and it will be broadcasted primarily on the Archdiocesan uh, web pages and so uh, we will at least have links so that you can easily uh, follow to those, uh, to those live streamings of the Masses. We thank you very much for praying with us. We desperately wish to be reunited with you until now. Until then, we pray together alone. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.